Reporter Jason Rezaian, just freed from prison in Iran, is speaking. Let's listen. For a very long time, so. Um, I'm honored to be a part of this ceremony, marking the next chapter in the history of the Washington Post. For much of the 18 months I was in prison, my Iranian interrogators told me that the Washington Post did not exist, that no one knew of my plight, and that the United States government would not lift a finger for my release. Today I'm here in this room with the very people who helped prove the Iranians wrong in so many ways. Each day since my release, I learned more about the efforts to gain our freedom, which began the moment Yegi and I were taken from our home and continue on in support of our reintroduction into the world. In the military, as you all know, uh, and in other dangerous callings, the most sacred pledge that you can make is to never leave a buddy behind. Like most pledges, it's a lot easier to say than to do. So no matter how great the effort, and it was really special, your folks here at the Post, the senior leadership, did an absolutely remarkable job uh, everywhere. And they were everywhere and consistent. And Jason, you have the best bosses you could have in that regard. Uh, but despite all of that effort, for everybody, this gnawed at us because we sensed the wrongfulness. And we knew that Jason and others were living the consequences, 545 days. Anxiety is true for the other families, for Saeed Abedini, for Amir Hekmati, for Nazratola Kosravi Rudsari, for Matthew Trevithik, and remains true for the family of Bob Levinson. And we will continue and do continue to make the same efforts that we have made for everybody else in order to find out what has happened there.